Thanks, Olivia. And I just have to say, when we were talking about the robotics, Mayor Kim Norton of Rochester was shaking her head going, yeah, she's really <laughs> proud of those kids. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you for being here, uh, Mayor Norton. She's joining us today to talk about touring our Rochester sister cities in Germany. The tour is coming up in September the 20th through the 29th, and you can sign up, right? Absolutely. That's Until right. June 20th or so. Well, and thank you for being here. So Absolutely. tell us about the tour. Yes. Well, we sort of set aside our sister city relationships during the pandemic. Right. So as things have slowed down, we decided it was time to, you know, up our game a little bit, make contact with all of our cities. We have five formal sister cities and an informal one. So Moosburg, Germany is our formal sister city and Munster, Germany is our sister city on energy and environmental issues that we've had for about six or seven years now. So we put together a 10 day trip and we hope we can get a, a group of Rochester residents to, to join me and my husband as we go over and celebrate because we're going to be there for the end of Fall Festival and the beginning of Oktoberfest. Oh, what the perfect time to be in Germany <laughs> in, in Bavaria, in Bavaria region. So yeah. before we get into what, what you're going to do on the tour, tell mm -hmm. us about what, how, do you, how does a city become a sister city? What's that about? Yeah, our sister cities have uh, been in existence for 40 to 50 years. Uh, Mayor Hazama really put a lot of time uh, getting sister city relationships built. So those cities um, are in five different countries, China, Japan, South Korea, Nepal, and wow. Germany. So very diverse group, and um, it's time for us to rebuild those, those relationships. Can we find things to do together, whether they be student exchanges? Historically, we've done things like sporting events or art. Um, so we're gonna look into doing some or all of those. Oh, I love that. So back in the day when I was at KTGC for the first round, when I was anchoring the 6 and 10 News, I got to go to Mooseburg to interview some of those students. It's a wonderful town. It was so fun to connect with the people there. And the exchange of ideas and just learning about each other's places is just so fun. It right? Is. It's absolutely wonderful. And we have something in common with Mooseburg. And I wonder if, I wonder where this came from, but we both have music departments. They're a small city, we're a mid-sized city, but we both have city-sponsored music, civic music or public music now departments. Uh, they have an orchestra. Um, ours wow. is private, theirs is part of their uh, their city. And that just enriches the Absolutely. whole town. So Absolutely. So give me an idea of some of the things that people who are going to go on the tour, what will they be doing in the sister cities? Oh, well, we're, we're really excited. Moosburg's one of the oldest cities in that part of Germany. So we'll get to see the city. It was, it hosted, the small town hosted one of the largest prisoner of war camps during the war. Wow. There is a barracks left as well as a wonderful memorial. The people in Moosburg take great pride in how well they took care of the prisoners while they were there because they're a small town and all the, the food and eggs and milk that they produced went to take care of the wow. prisoners. So wow. they're very proud of that. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we will tour the city. We're going to be in a parade because it's their last day, yes, of their um, fall festival. Very cool. Uh, last, year, last time when I visited, I, I happened to pop in kind of last minute uh, to visit the mayor there when I first became mayor before the pandemic. And he put me on some bumper cars at that oh. festival. So I'm back, we're back again. So bumper, if oh, bumper cars are you. Um, <laughs> And then we're gonna stop at a walled city, uh, Rothenburg on the way. We will then go, um, I think it's to Rudersheim and uh, Rudensheim, and then and we'll have a, a cruise on the Rhine for dinner. Um, it, it sounds- They're walled cities, they're beautiful, and end up in Munster, which is like the bike capital of Germany and just a super delightful place. I, I kind of wonder why more people don't see Munster. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And I am so thrilled about this this cruise, everybody, uh, the cruise, this trip. <laughs> True. I don't know what, cruise on the brain, I guess I want to go. But enjoy uh, look looking at this and seeing if it's something you'd like to do because uh, Mary Norton would love you to go with them. It's a great experience. Thank you so much for being here Absolutely. today. Absolutely. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome.